In this video, I am going to show you how to tell if your computer is hacked. Imagine sitting at your desk, casually browsing the internet, when suddenly your mouse moves by itself. Your screen flickers. A strange program opens that you never installed. Most people would laugh it off as a glitch. But what if I told you those glitches are often the exact signs that a hacker is inside your computer? Right now, at this very moment, someone could be spying on you without your knowledge. They could be copying your files, stealing your passwords, or even turning on your webcam. The terrifying part? You wouldn't even know it was happening. So stay with me to the end and you will know without a doubt whether you are safe today or not. Miss a single step and you might never know you were compromised until it's too late. So let's get to work and find out if someone's living rent free inside your computer. Now let's do the first test. Let's see if Windows fight back. Before we start hunting ghosts, Let's see if the front door is even locked. I'm going to attempt to download a harmless but 100% real test virus from EICAR website. It's not dangerous to you or me, but every professional uses it to check whether security defenses are awake. Think of it as dangling fake cash in front of a pickpocket. Now here, watch closely. Boom. Browser throws up a warning before the file even touches the drive. That's the first checkpoint, the gatekeeper at the border. Now let's push it one layer deeper. I force the save anyway and Windows Defender leaps in. Instant quarantine. No panic pop-ups, just quite efficiency. This is why you never rely on gut feelings alone. Defender logs every attempt. So if you ever wonder, was something sketchy blocked while I was at lunch, this is where you find the receipts. So we know the front line works, but here's the kicker. The most dangerous hacks don't trip alarms. That's why next we dive under the hood. Hey, sorry to interrupt your video, but I've got a quick question. Are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We've partnered with EC Council to bring you the Certified Ethical Hacker, or CEH, Masterclass, and it's the perfect place to start. In this course, you'll learn step-by-step -step how to think and act like a hacker so you can protect organizations from cyber threats. You'll gain hands-on experience with industry-standard hacking tools such as Nmap, Wireshark, Metasploit, Burp Suite, John the Ripper, Nikto, Aircrack NG, and many others. Master ethical hacking with AI-driven techniques to enhance your skills and always stay a step ahead. You'll explore techniques used in footprinting, scanning, enumeration, system hacking, malware analysis, sniffing, social engineering, and more. You'll also dive into advanced topics like web application attacks, wireless network security, cryptography, cloud security, and penetration testing methodology. Everything you need to pass the CEH certification exam and become a skilled ethical hacker. The CEH certification is a globally respected credential that validates your ability to identify and fix security vulnerabilities in networks and systems. It's ideal for anyone looking to become an ethical hacker, penetration tester, security analyst, or cybersecurity consultant. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing fields in tech, and ethical hackers are in huge demand. In fact, according to EC Council, the demand for ethical hackers has grown by over 40% in the past year alone, with penetration testing jobs being among the top five fastest growing roles in cybersecurity. Organizations across finance, healthcare, government, and tech are actively hiring CEH certified professionals to help defend against cyber threats. CEH certified professionals earn anywhere from $95,000 to $150,000 US dollars per year, and experienced professionals with advanced skills can earn $160,000 to over $200,000 annually, according to Glassdoor, Payscale, and CyberSeek. If you're ready to launch a high impact, high paying career in cybersecurity, this course is for you. We placed a link to the CEH course in the description area of this video. Enroll today and take the first step toward becoming a certified ethical hacker. Now back to the video. Before we bait the hacker, we must make sure the guard dog is awake. If defender's settings are off, 
or there are exclusions, you could be giving attackers a VIP pass. Let's check and lock everything down. So first, click start and search for Windows Security. This is the control center for Defender. Here, you can see that we have multiple warning signs showing we have some weak points or changes to be made. So head towards the virus and threat protection option and click manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. Next, make sure that the real-time protection option is turned on. The real-time protection watches files and processes as they run. It's the guard that stops threats the moment they try to open or execute. Turn this off only when you absolutely must and only temporarily. On the same page, ensure that cloud delivered protection and automatic sample submissions are on. Next, there is a tamper protection option and set it to on as well because it keeps attackers and careless apps from disabling Defender. If an attacker flips this off, everything else becomes useless, so you want to keep it on. Scroll down and hit the Manage Controlled Folder Access under the Controlled Folder Access option. On this management page, ensure that the Ransomware Protection and Controlled Folder Access is turned on as it will prevent unknown programs from changing files in your documents, pictures, etc. It's a targeted shield against ransomware. I recommend turning it on on real devices, but in demos, it can block your test files. You need to note that. Scroll to exclusions, hit add or remove exclusions, then click exclusions and view the list. Confirm it's empty or only contains intentional safe items like a development folder. Now, exclusions are the equivalent of saying this folder is VIP, don't scan it. Never have broad exclusions like, you know, C directory or C slash users directory or folder. That's an open invitation to malware. Remove anything suspicious here. If an attacker can get you to add a folder to exclusions, your AV is blind to everything in there. That's how long-term infections hide. Next, we'll install Sys Internals, the real detective toolkit which does the Process Explorer, Autoruns, Procmon. I'll show how each tool exposes what Defender misses. These tools don't replace Defender, they complement it. Defender is the guard dog. Sys Internals is the forensic camera set up to prove what the guard might have missed. First, let's grab Sys Internal Suite, then open your browser, search for Sys Internals, and click the official Microsoft link at the top. That page has full documentation on every tool, how to run, what each one does, and tips straight from the creators. On the left menu, click Download Sys Internal Suite, then choose the first download link to grab the complete toolkit as a single zip file and extract it anywhere you like. Time to spice things up with a live target. Inside my IR check folder, I have cooked up harmless test files, but we are starting with the star of the show, weird.bat. Watch this. Now we double click and boom, a command prompt window opens up and starts spitting outlines like it's had too much coffee. It's harmless, sure, but that endless loop is the perfect stand-in for real malware. Alright, hunt mode on. Drive into the sys internals folder and launch pros explorer 64.exe or which is also known as Process Explorer. Here you will see it as PROCEXP64.exe. So now think Task Manager after three energy drinks. Every running process, live CPU graphs, colors flashing like a neon nightclub. Now green, it's for brand new process. Purple, it's for background services. Red, it means something just flatlined. 
Now scroll, scroll, bam, cmd.exe. That's our weird.bat troublemaker. Double click it and you get the full dozier. CPU spikes, memory graphs, network activity, loaded DLLs, security info, basically it's entire digital at DNA. If this were a real virus, this is where you would nail it. Right click and the power menu pops up. Now kill process to take out just this guy. Or kill process tree to wipe out every minion it spawned. One click and poof, game over. For demo drama, let's go with kill process. Click at window god, loop dead. And that's exactly how you'd squash a suspicious or runaway process on a real system fast, clean and done. Alright, we proved we can sniff out and kill a live process. Time for level 2, a sneaky one. Next demo file, a renamed executable. It's literally just notepad wearing a fake name, but it looks shady enough to fool anyone. Let's run it and watch how his internal spots a wolf in grandma's sweater. Now for the persistence test, pop open PowerShell as administrator and drop a harmless shortcut straight into Windows startup folder. I'm calling it hackerdemo.link. This is just for the demo. But in the real world, this is exactly how malware forces itself to launch every time you boot. With that planted, dive back into the sysinternals folder and fire up autoruns.exe as admin. Autoruns is the ultimate startup sniffer. It shows every program that can auto-launch, like drivers, services, schedule tasks, browser helpers, etc. Everything's organized into tabs and the everything tab is the master list. Now scroll a bit and bam, there's our shiny new hacker demo entry. Because it's set to run on boot, you'll also spot it under the logon tab. Want the full dossier? Right click, jump to entry and auto runs teleports you straight into the windows registry where you can see the exact key, file path and details this shortcut is using. Now let's wipe it out. Right click and then delete, then hit OK on the confirmation alert and it's gone. Tap F5 to refresh or click the refresh button and the entry vanishes. For a double check, open the actual startup folder we planted earlier. Now you can see it's empty. Our fake startup file is history and we will never run it again. That's exactly how you track down and kill real persistent malware before it even gets a chance to wake up. Autoruns just proved we can catch anything trying to live forever on startup. But what about the sneaky stuff that runs only when it feels like it? Like for example files opening, registry edits, network calls. These are the things that you would never spot in task manager. For that, we bring out the heavy camera gear like process monitor, if you're aware of that. Think of it as a CCTV for every single thing happening on your system. Open the sysinternals folder again and launch procmon.exe as administrator. The second it starts, you'll see a waterfall of events, thousands per second. Every file write, registry change, network handshake, most of this noise is just Windows doing Windows things. But if malware tries to sneak in, it leaves tracks right here. Here's how we pin down a target. Pause the capture, click the capture icon or hit Ctrl E to stop the live firehose. Now clear the old data, hit Ctrl X to wipe what was already collected so we start fresh and now set a filter. Go to filter, then click on filter. Field should be process name. Condition should be is. Value should be svc host hyphen demo dot exe. This is our disguise test process. And then click add, then hit OK. Watch the action. Resume capture and boom. Procmon now shows only the moves made by our fake malware. Every file it touches, 
every registry key it edits, every network call it tries. This is exactly how security pros track a real intruder. No guessing, just a full digital paper trail in real time. Let's dig even deeper. Say you want intel on this fake bug at a specific moment, like what it does right at the startup. Just double click the event and boom, an entire dossier drops on your screen. You'll see every action it took, the exact process calls, even the full stack trace. What more could you ask for, right? But don't stop at startup. Keep an eye on key operations like create file, close file, regged open key, load image. These are all the real footprints malware leaves behind. All right, time to unleash the command line and put our mystery file under a microscope. Now step one, open command prompt as administrator, copy the full path to our sys internals folder, type cd followed by a space, paste the path and hit enter. Boom, you're standing inside the sys internals arena. Clear the clutter with CLS. Now let's hit our first powerhouse. Write this command and then this path. Here's what's happening behind that command. So sidecheck.exe is the tool itself, hyphen n tells it to include file version details, hyphen v digs into the digital signature and verifies it against Microsoft certificate store. When the license prompt pops up, smash that Y key. In a few seconds, you'll see whether the file is digitally signed, who signed it, when it was built, and if the certificate checks out. If a program claims to be from a trusted vendor but shows no valid signature, that's a red flag the size of a billboard. Next up is strings, our text extraction beast. Now run strings.exe-n8 and then this path. Here's the breakdown, hyphen n8 tells it to grab every sequence of 8 or more readable characters. Then it sweeps through the binary, ripping out anything you can actually read. Hit agree to accept the license and watch the screen pour out hidden goodies, file paths, URLs, developer comments, even potential command and control addresses if this were real malware. Those clues can reveal what the program's trying to do or where it's phoning home. And that's the knockout combo. Sidecheck confirms if a file is genuine and signed, while Strings cracks it open and spills every readable secret inside. Together, they turn the command line into a forensic spotlight so shady program can escape. And that's a wrap, friends. Windows Defender blocked the bait, Process Explorer hunted the live loop, Autoruns crushed the startup sneak, Procmon caught every move, and Sidecheck with strings cracked our mystery file wide open. You just built yourself a personal cyber detective kit. Most people wait until their machine is on fire. Now you can spot trouble before it even sparks. Remember the old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. In the cyber world, that's gospel. Keep those tools sharp and run them once in a while because attackers don't sleep and neither should your defenses. Next time, if you see a strange pop-up or your fan starts screaming at 2 a.m., you won't panic, you'll investigate. If you crushed every step with me today, you're already ahead of 90% of users out there. Give yourself a pat on the back and hey, share this video with your friends who thinks antivirus is enough. I have got more deep dive security challenges coming. So smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next mission. Stay tuned.